Hi everyone, today we're going to create a game called Squish the Ghosts, where you have to try to click on the ghosts to squish them. And we're going to be using Scratch to create this game, so let's get started. I'm going to the Scratch website right now, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click on the Create button because we're creating a brand new game today. If a tutorial pops up here, you can just exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click on the little garbage can, goodbye cat. I'm going to go get a cool backdrop so it's not this plain boring white backdrop. And I'm going to go way down to the bottom here and click on choose a backdrop. There's lots for you to choose from. The one I'm going to choose today is Neon Tunnel. I think that goes well with ghosts. So I'm going to click on Neon Tunnel. And then I'm going to get a ghost sprite. So I'm going to click down here, choose a sprite. I'm going to click on it. You don't have to choose a ghost. You can choose whatever you want. I like the ghost for this one. I'm going to choose the ghost. And you can see when I hover here, it's got many different costumes of ghosts. So that's another reason I like the ghost. So I'm going to click on the ghost. Perfect. Hey, the ghost is kind of big for my game. I'm going to make him smaller. See right here the size? He's 100% right now. I'm going to make him smaller. So instead of 100%, I'm just going to click in his box and backspace a couple times and maybe try 50%. That's a good size. Uh, so I've made my ghost 50%. And here's what I'd like you to do first. When the green flag is clicked, so I'm going to drag that over. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you at home or school, wherever you happen to be working so you can see it. When the green flag is clicked, I want the ghost to go to the middle of the screen, 0, 0. So I'm going to the motion button right now. Go to 0, 0. I know there's different numbers right there right now, but I'm going to type in 0 and zero and then i'm going to have the ghost give a simple instruction something like catch me so i'm going to go to the looks button right there the purple one looks and i'm going to grab say hello but instead of saying hello he's going to say catch or tag me how about that tag me for two seconds let's see how that works so when i press the green flag he should go to the middle of the screen zero zero and he should say tag me for two seconds okay ready green flag and go Perfect. Hey, I'm going to pause there. Let everybody go to scratch.mit.edu. You're going to click the create button. You're going to get rid of the cat. Then go get a cool backdrop uh, and a ghost sprite. And for your ghost sprite, have it go to zero, zero and say tag me when the green flag is clicked. If you get stuck, please look at my code. And when you guys are ready to move on to the next part, I'll be here waiting for you. All right, I hope you're not getting too creeped out by this game, so uh, let's continue. Hey, the next thing I want this ghost to do is to go to a random position. Not glide to a random position, but just go to a random position. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the motions button right there, and I'm going to get go to random position. I'm going to grab that one. It says go to random position. So not gliding, he just goes to a random position. And then he waits there for a second so you can try to catch him. So I'm going to go to the control, grab a wait one second. So he's going to go to a random position. He's going to wait one second. And he's going to do this 10 times. So not a forever loop today, but instead we're going to use a repeat 10 times. He's going to do this 10 times. And after 10 times, he's going to say something. Watch what he says. I'm going to go to the looks button. It's purple. And he's going to say, good game. For two seconds. So you have 10 chances to try to catch him. So look, when we press the green flag, he should go to the middle, zero, zero. He's going to say, tag me. And then he's going to go to random positions, wait, and repeat that 10 times over and over and over. After 10 times, he's going to stop and say, good game. So let's see how that works. Ready? Green flag and go. Okay, tag me. Perfect. He's going to random positions. He's waiting for a second each time. And he's going to do it 10 times. And then game over. Great. Fantastic. I'm going to pause there. And I'm going to let everybody catch up. So now you're going to get a repeat 10 times. He's going to go to a random position. He's going to wait at each uh, random position for a second. He'll do this 10 times again. And then he's going to say good game. So I'm going to pause. Let everybody catch up. So that your ghost is going to random positions 10 times and waiting. Giving you a ten chance to try to squish him. All right, when you're, when you're all caught up, I'll be here waiting. 
Okay, now we got to make it so that when you do click the ghost, uh, the squish happens. And watch what we're going to do. I'm just going to make this code a little bit smaller so we can fit everything on there. Now look, when this sprite is clicked, when the ghost sprite is clicked, so I'm going to go to events, right there, yellow. When this sprite is clicked, when the ghost is clicked, we want him to switch costumes is the first thing. Because look, if you go to this costumes button up here, you can see that the ghost has many costumes. This is costume A, B, C, D. I like these costumes. So he's going to switch costumes whenever you click on him. So that's an easy one. I'm just going to go to the looks button and click on next costume. When this sprite is clicked, next costume. So he'll switch to his next costume. But he's also going to make a sound effect. I don't think we've done that one yet. So look how we do that. I'm going to go to the sounds button right there. Click on sounds and we're going to go search for a good sound effect for when you click on the ghost. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom right there and choose a sound right there. Choose a sound. There's lots of sounds to choose from and many of these aren't appropriate because it's just like a single sound. They don't really work. What we want is an effect right there. A sound effect. And the sound effect I want is called squish pop. So I'm going to scroll down because there's lots of them. Listen. I want the one that says squish pop. So I'm going to go down here. Where is squish pop? Um, squish pop. Where is it here? Squish pop right there. There. That's the one I want. So I'm going to double click squish pop. There's the, uh, the sound effect. So I'm going to go back to the code now. See code. So when this sprite is clicked next costume, and then I'm going to go to the sound effects sounds play squish pop. There we go. So when the green flag is clicked, it goes to the middle. He says, tag me. And he starts going all over the place. If I can tick, click, click on him, he's going to switch costumes and he's going to make a sound effect. Let's see if I can catch him. There we go. There we go. And that's it. Game over 10 times. Fantastic. So what I did was um, I got when this sprite is clicked. Then I went to next costume, which is in the looks button there, the purple one, next costume right there. And then I went and got a sound effect. And the one I got was called Squish Pop because the game is called Squish the Ghost. So to get a sound effect, you go to the sounds button right there, sounds. Then you click way down here and you choose a new sound. And then you go to the effects and choose an effect that's good for you. <laughs> I like Squish Pop. You can choose whichever one of these effects you like. And then you're going to code the ghost to make that sound when you click them. Hey, if you get stuck, please take a look at my code. And I'll be meeting you shortly for the last part of our game. So good luck with this. Have fun getting a sound effect. And I'll see you soon. Okay, um, next we're going to make uh, the background look a little bit more interesting so it's a more fun game. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the backdrop over here, my neon tunnel right there. I'm going to click on it once. Okay, we haven't had any code for it. There's nothing here for the tunnel because it's just a plain backdrop. But watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the events and I'm going to grab when the green flag is clicked. I'll just make it a bit bigger for you at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. You can see it a little bit better. When the green flag is clicked, I want the backdrop to change color effect. So I'm going to go to the looks button, change color effect, and I'm going to have this go on forever. So forever. So I'm going to put a loop around the change color effect. So watch the backdrop when I click the green flag because it's going to forever change color, the backdrop. Watch. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh, I like that. That makes the game look really cool. So take a moment now. Go to your backdrop, whatever backdrop you chose, and code it so that when the green flag is clicked, it's forever changing its color effect. Okay, I'm going to leave this here for a few minutes, let everybody catch up, and when you're ready to uh, go, I'll meet you for the last part. I'll see you soon. Hey, just before we do the last part of our game, I just want to take some time to talk to our teachers just for a moment. Teachers, you'll notice that there's a number of coding events that are happening all at the same time. Your students have coded sequential events to happen. For example, this, then this, then this, then this, then this. We have repeating events. For example, this repeats 10 times over and over again. On the backdrops, we have coded the backdrop to repeat forever and ever. 
And finally, we have concurrent events happening. So while the ghost is doing these things, the backdrop is doing this. So there's two different sets of code running for this game concurrently. So I think we've addressed all three of the key components to the Ontario curriculum at this point, And I'm looking forward to implementing those ideas in our last game. So anyway, students, let's get back to our last part of our game, which I think you're going to really like. Okay, for the last part of our game, we're going to make a few simple changes to make the game a little bit longer and a little bit better. So instead of 10 repeats, I'm going to make it 20 repeats so we can play a little bit longer. No, 50 repeats. No, 100 repeats. So we're going to have the ghost move to 100 different random positions so we can try to click on the ghost. So I changed the repeat from a 10 to a 100. I'm also going to make it two seconds instead of one second. One second is a little bit too fast for me. I can't really catch them. So I'm going to make the ghost wait for two seconds. You can change that number and the ghost will wait longer or shorter depending on what number you put there. So you can change the repeats. You can also change the weights to make the game easier or harder, longer or shorter. And finally, I'm going to add a second ghost so that I have more than one ghost so we can click on a whole bunch of ghosts and I'm going to do that by putting the mouse pointer on the ghost. Please don't click on the garbage can, you'll lose your ghost. But I'm going to click here on the ghost, I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate the ghost. So now I have two ghosts. You can duplicate the ghost again, so you have three ghosts, or four ghosts, or even five ghosts. It's up to you how many times you duplicate the ghost. But the game should be a lot of fun to play as you try to catch the ghosts and squish them. There you go. All right. I hope you're enjoying your game. Hey, if you get stuck, look at my code. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at our last uh, game for this session. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye, everybody.